<laughs> Peter Piper picked a pack of peppers. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck a woodchuck could chuck wood? Why, hello there. How's it going? Attention class, if you're feeling any stress, just let out those inner demons. Allow your insides to have a voice. Ah! That's genuinely what's going on on the inside. Ah! The harmony lies within the turbulence of it all. Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, it's been a minute in normal times, but it's been probably like a second in COVID times. Honestly, I blinked that I hadn't uploaded in five weeks, but then I very quickly thought, does it really matter? Because now the world is not metaphorically on fire. It's literally on fire. It's a disastrous new normal. A major factor, climate change. Allow me to be old school for a minute, kick back and just turn on the camera and tell you what has happened to me because a lot has happened to me. This year is fucking bizarre, and just when you think you understand how wild and how unique it is, a new day happens. A new catastrophe happens, just when you think you have a grip on the world. You don't. You don't have a grip on it. You don't, honestly, it's nowhere near my hands at this point. It's like I threw it across the football field. I am a quarterback, and I just threw the world. None of it's in our control. And we just have to accept that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Composure, you're an adult. A few weeks ago, I had a few unexpected things happen to me. In the same 24 hour span, I experienced an earthquake, an attempt at burglary, and a car accident. So that just kind of started off the spiral that was to follow. I may look fine, but I am barely holding it together right now. I was away, I was trying to not, again, lose my mind. I was trying to figure things out a little bit, try to calm down, so I have just gotten back from that. I have just gotten back from finding my whatever, you know, something cheesy, finding myself, finding my peace, feeling calm, feeling good about things, whatever. I, just, I can't believe, I can't, I cannot believe this. 7 a.m. rolls around, my alarm goes off, I pick up my phone and I see a little notification from my security cameras. I wipe the sleep out of my eyes and I look at that camera and there is a person inside my fence while I'm home. So I click that, th click it, jarred, confused. I thought I was dreaming, jiggling all of my door handles, trying to see if anything was open while I was sleeping in my bed. Things happen, out of my control, let's keep living. Go for a run, feel a little bit de-stressed. I'm going to go distantly meet up with some friends that had just driven across the country because they are moving to Los Angeles. I get in my car, I go drive. Three miles away from my house, I get rear-ended. Rear-ended, someone rear-ends my car. That's not where the story ends. You think that's where the story ends. That's not where the story ends. Get out of the car. I ask the person, are you okay? They say yes. I say, I am okay too. That's all that matters. It's fine. It's fine. I get home. I pull into my driveway. I open my door. I look over my car. I was rear-ended by my neighbor. Miles away from our places. Miles away. What? It's so weird. So that is where I'm at right now. Physically, I'm okay. Mentally, I'm just not here. <laughs> an inevitable downfall into a personal crisis. Oh, and to top it all off, there was an earthquake the night before. So it was like earthquake, burglary, car accident. Residents in the LA area were woken up last night by a 4.5 Magnitude earthquake. This shook it pretty hard. My first reaction was to get up and leave. Bitch, me too! The fuck? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Nothing really happened. It's fine. Everything's fine. I swear everything is fine. On top of all of that, the west coast of the United States has been experiencing wildfires. So we have earthquakes. We have wildfires. There are hurricanes happening on the east coast. Ice caps are melting in the north. There's droughts in the south. It's just chaos. It is utter upset the established order and everything becomes chaos so that's the longest story short of why i've been away is just that i i can't handle it dude like it's 
it's a lot. Like, I, I don't know, I honestly, big credit to other YouTubers, to other creative people, to, to anyone that is able to have a grip on normality right now because I just, I can't do it sometimes. Biggest credit to anyone who's able to be stable right now because it's hard. Like as if it's hard enough or you think you finally have a grip on it and then you turn the corner and someone like Chadwick Boseman dies or Chi Chi Devane, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Naya Rivera, things like that really, like those are the moments where I hit pause, where I kind of crumble a little bit because it's, like life is just so precious, man. And even when horrible, horrible things happen, you know, I'm, I'm still here. I still get the chance to be here. And even if things aren't perfect sometimes, it doesn't mean they might not be perfect tomorrow. They might get better next week, next month. You have really no idea. And I just, that's, what's, that's what keeps me together, is that hope, is that potential for peace. The tiniest steps right now might as well be a mountain climb. So you're doing great. I believe in you. I'm thankful for you. You're gonna make it through this. I feel like that general idea of control is something I need to remind myself of a lot lately during this year, during this time. As much as we don't have it, you still can try to find it in little ways. I've been able to have a few moments over the past couple weeks where I've found a bit of clarity. It was a really small moment and it was you know, genuinely something that was relatively insignificant, but I had one of these moments where I was out for a walk and I just took like a really deep breath and I felt immediately grateful that the air kind of smelt like autumn, if that makes sense. Like it felt so fresh and so clean. And I just had this moment of like, wow, I'm so lucky to, to be here right now. I'm so lucky to feel this way right now. I'm so lucky that this is happening and that I'm realizing this. And it's a little bit like hippy dippy, loopy loopy, but it grounded me for a second and for like a very, small moment, I just, I felt peaceful. I felt calm, I felt hopeful about the future and that I could feel this way more often. I get those a lot when I'm alone or when I'm allowing myself to just kind of be with, with peace and quiet, to like go for a walk with no one else, to sit in pure silence with no podcasts, no music, no TV on. Because those are the moments where I genuinely feel good. The moments where I hit pause and I just exist for a moment. Again, we've gone full loopy loopy, we're up there. We're on Venus with the potential life. Have we made any sense? <laughs> that's where I'm at right now. That's, that's, that's what's happened to me over the past few weeks. It's an ongoing process. I'm just taking it day by day. <laughs> to the two people that are still watching this mess unfold, going back a few slides to the fact that it was my birthday. I recently celebrated my birthday. I am 28 years old. Don't know what that means. Don't know what that feels like. If you feel so inclined to celebrate my birthday in some small way, you can do so by going to glisten.org vote and registering to vote. If you don't live in the United States and you're not above the age of 18, you could go to glisten.org slash donate and you could donate a little something. It would make me one happy chickpea. Anyways, that's it. Uh, I love you. I hope you're doing well and I will see you soon. Bye. It's more like a mixture of ah and hmm. Fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's all fine. Nothing really happened, it's fine. None of it's in our control. And we just have to accept that.